Hey there, hope you all have had a good weekend or gearing up for a good weekend. Uh, sorry, it's a little dark, uh, late shooting here for my video for this week. I want to talk to you about the uh, essays that you have coming up. Um, so first off, your article evaluation is due on Tuesday night. I've given you an extra day to work on that. Um, I have responded to all of your stage one and return to those. If you have any questions, please do get in touch. And remember that you need to look at the feedback on those assignments. I'm noticing that some of you are not looking at stage one feedback and are not looking at things like the feedback I give you on your source approval assignments. It's important that you do that um, because that ensures that you are off to a good start for the essay. Uh, I do give you credit for completing the assignment, so you may see 100, but that doesn't mean that there's nothing there. So please Please make sure that you not only look at the feedback I give you in the comments window, but that you also go in and look at the comments that I leave you on the document. Remember that the purpose of this essay is rhetorical analysis, looking at how the writer gets his or her point across to the audience. Um, and some of you are having some difficulty in identifying audience. Remember that scholarly articles are typically not written for a general audience. It's typically going to be people who have some knowledge of the subject. Uh, a lot of times, there will be some uh, some exceptions, of course, but a lot of times you can figure out who the audience is by looking at the language that's used, the uh, strategies that they use to get their writing across. So uh, be sure to think carefully about that. Um, also for this essay, to be successful, you need to incorporate evidence from the text to back your claim. So if you cite the language that's used in the article as part of um, how they get their point across, make sure you give examples of the kind of language that you are talking about. Um, <clears throat> remember to cite properly, include your work cited. It's fine for you to keep your work cited on the last page of the essay. For this one, um, you can, um, in future essays, you'll need an, a separate work cited page, but for this one, if you just want to stick it on uh, right after the end of the body of your essay, I'm fine with that. Um, so then we move on to the article comparison essay. Uh, this one is sort of, I think of it as the hump for the class. This is the one that once we get through it, things feel a little bit easier. A lot of students find that the research paper feels easier after we do this article comparison essay. So the article comparison will compare the popular and scholarly articles that you chose, so the one that you are writing your evaluation of, then to the popular article and um, you are looking at how they reach those different audiences. So the idea here is to um, get used to comparative writing. Um, so when you're doing comparison, we do comparison all the time. We do comparison, we're trying to figure out what we want to eat for dinner, what we want to wear, who we want to date, um, where we want to go on vacation. We look at our options, we think about the pros and cons. The kind of comparison we're going to be doing here um, is simply noting the similarities and differences and why those are significant. In a comparison, you can talk about similarities and differences. You don't just have to pick one or the other. Um, and the other thing I want you to think about with the comparative writing, um, your thesis statement must be more specific than saying that the items are similar yet different. Everything in the universe pretty much can be considered similar yet different. Um, you know me in a filing cabinet, for example. Uh, we are similar yet different. Um, we are both over five feet tall, but one is made of metal and it's not me. So, you see what I mean? It doesn't really tell us anything when you say that things are similar yet different. So, try to figure out the um, categories of similarity or categories of difference. So, maybe the articles are similar in their subject and their use of examples, but they differ in their language and organization and how they reach their audience. So that could be um, a potential thesis statement depending on your articles. So that's what I have for this week. I'm sorry about some of the problems I had with getting your uh, folder open for this week and I should have the folders for the rest of the semester open uh, Monday and Tuesday. I'm just about done with my tinkering there. I just want to make sure I have everything correct after some errors in the past two weeks. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your hard work. I hope you have a good weekend, and I look forward to working with you more next week. And please don't hesitate to email me if you have any questions. I will uh, try to check my email a bit over the weekend, and I'll be uh, back at it bright and early on Monday. Take care.